All right, today is episode four of my Crowd Cow review. Today I'm really excited because I am going to be cooking A5 Wagyu ground beef burgers. This is a little over one pound of Wagyu ground beef from Japan. Crowd Cow sent the information of this being from Miyazaki, Japan. A5 is a classification of ground beef and beef in general. Um, it's top rating you can get from the Japanese government as they export it out. A5 is, um, A stands for the fact that the most amount of meat from the cow is usable and five is dealing with what kind of marble it has, fat, color, etc. So it's a top quality type of beef. And um, on Crowd Cow, I think this retails for about $42, so it's not cheap. If you know what the normal uh, American ground beef of one pound costs, it's probably in the range of $10 to $12, $13 maybe, maybe even less. But um, anyway, so this was um, part of my channel. As you know, I got a uh, sample box from Crowd Cow, and I'm doing one-by-one -one reviews of each of the, the topics the, in terms of the food. And I'm uh, really excited about today's meal. So we're cooking some burgers, and I'm going to be seasoning the burgers with just some basic stuff, garlic powder, ground powder pepper, onion, uh, some sea salt. I'm going to be taking the ground beef, which has been uh, defrosted for about a day in the fridge. Um, you can see the, the fat content here. And I learned that you can't keep the, um, the Wagyu beef outside of the fridge and get it to room temperature too long because the fat actually melts at room temperature. So it's not, it's not a good combination. So in addition to the burgers, we're going to be doing some asparagus and um, some onions on the grill. And I'm going to be searing the pan really hot when I put the, the burgers on and only cook it for about two to two and a half minutes on each side. I probably didn't need to do this, but I did put some, um, some buttered flavored uh, grease on there just to avoid sticking. But I, after the fact, I realized I probably don't even need anything <laughs> because of the fact that the, there's such a rich fat content on the burgers. There's probably no need for greasing. Um, and as well, you see some wheat buns there. So this is what I'm going to be eating now. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and uh, film every aspect of this. I'll just touch base um, between now and the end of the meal, but definitely going to give a review at the end because I am really looking forward to seeing how much, uh, how well I enjoy a uh, Wagyu beef burger, especially since it's $42 for, for one pound. All right, so we'll check in soon. All right, the patties are made. Got them uh, spiced up with, again, just garlic powder, onion powder, some sea salt, black pepper, and maybe about a third pound each, uh, give or take, right? So there's a total of 1.05 pounds. On the grill here, I've got cooking up nice the asparagus and the onions. Just going to let that kind of saute up while the uh, burgers go on. And I've got this um, going pretty good now so it should be nice and hot my goal is to cook each side for about two two minutes or so and uh, not not overdo it and then I'll just uh, toast up the buns and then we should be good to go so see how we do there we go got each burger sitting on there just put it on there a few seconds ago you can see the fat just automatically shooting out of there and it should give it a nice caramelized brown searing on the bottom after about two minutes or so before I flip them so let's, uh, let's see, hopefully I don't screw it up. So far so good though. All right, here's the finished product. I think it looks really good. You can see the burgers kind of melted down a little bit in terms of its size because of the fat, but uh, they smelled great and um, really looking good. Asparagus and onions look awesome too. So it's all about the taste. Let's see how it goes with that. Okay, taste test time. It's not really a big deal. I put some sautéed onions on it and some ketchup, so we'll see. Ah, it's really good. It's not like meaty tasting or... It's definitely a very tasty burger, I have to say. $42 a pound, I guess it should be. Buddy, Graham. Um. It's good, right? All right, as I finished my first one and now start with the second, I gotta give an update of my review because it was actually really delicious and I think my first comment didn't do it justice. The meat itself is really good and uh, it's just kind of, yeah, my boy likes that. Really melts in your mouth and um, highly recommend the burger for the price. Definitely more of a special occasion. 
Um, but as I said, this is part of my sample box, and uh, I definitely look to get it again. So all good in the end. A-plus rating. <laughs> all right. Until next video. Bye.